Hi guys, what's going on? Uh, now last week I did a tutorial on how to install the homebrew channel on the Nintendo Wii and actually went over two with you uh, on how to install the uh, configure USB loader as well as the uh, Dios Miles GameCube emulators. Uh, so this week I've decided that I'm going to uh, show you how to take a downloaded Wii game ISO, converting it over onto a uh, a hard drive and then actually then use the Nintendo Wii to boot that game up from the hard drive so uh, I'm gonna go over to the computer right now we'll get this thing going and uh, I'll get to showing you what how, how, how it's done all right so meet me there okay guys so basically you're gonna need two things well, actually, three things. Uh, you're going to need your downloaded uh, Wii ISO file, which I have here. Uh, I went ahead and downloaded mine to save a little bit of time. And uh, you're also going to have to download a program called Wii Backup Manager. And uh, you also have to have a hard drive or a flash drive, whatever you have or whatever you prefer. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you where I get my ISOs from and while I'm doing that I'm going to go ahead and start the extraction of my game here. And uh, there's uh, a couple of sites I go to. Uh, the, the first site that I ever went to was called Wii ISO. This is actually a torrent site. Uh, now you can, you can scramble through these, see which one you want. But... Uh, you can choose from the latest Wii Pal ISO torrents, Old Pal European Wii ISO torrents, or the latest USA Wii torrents, or the old USA NTSC Wii ISO torrents. Um, just to give you an example, this is the latest USA Wii ISO torrents right here that you can choose from. It's not very many. Uh, I'm pretty much done with this site. I, was, I done went through it, downloaded what I wanted, so uh, that's that. Uh, ne the next site is, uh, guys, the absolute best site, in my opinion. You do have to create an account, but guys, I'm telling you, it is well worth it. And uh, it's called Romulation, okay? This site has, wow, I, I don't know how many games, but it's well, I mean, it's well enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we have a total of like 45 pages of games to choose from. They're in alphabetical order. You can also change the assortment from al alphabetically to downloads or file size or a date added, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So this is the number one site, guys. I would definitely re recommend you guys going to. And like I said, you have to create an account. Uh, the... The third site is uh, that I recommend is if it will load up. Oh, here we go. Mega Wii. This is a website too. Uh, now it lists all the games in alphabetical order, uh, just like Romulation. Uh, they don't have quite as much games as Romulation does, but yeah, it has a lot more than we ISO does. So just go through those and see see what you think uh, and download whatever you want to. <clears throat> now the uh, fourth site is Emu Paradise. It's a pretty cool site not too bad it has a lot more than we ISO but not a, not more than uh, a Romulation or mega mega we but yeah they have some good ones on here they really do so uh, I actually have this game here I've got it in European I had to patch it but you know what I didn't even realize that was there but anyway uh, yeah <clears throat> Check this out. Go through these guys. Just go all th through all four sites and see what you like and uh, download whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, the second thing that we need to do is download this program called Wii Backup Manager. And guys, all these sites 
all the uh, sites where you download the games, where you download this Wii Backup Manager, all of this will be under the description. So, no worries there, guys. Absolutely no worries, okay? We're going to actually go, go ahead and download this right here. Ad Focus is a revolutionary here. new way of making money on the internet from sharing links on Facebook. I can't believe that. I wish that thing would just... That's, that's what you get with sites like this. Just go ahead and just back up, hit download again, and you'll have a countdown over here, guys. Uh, once it counts down to zero, it says skip ad. Just go ahead and skip. And then you've got some pop-ups here. Just don't worry about that crap. Uh, just wait on yeah, wait on this window here. It asks you where you want to uh, save the file to. Of course, the desktop. Easy to find there, huh? Okay, now I got my downloaded game extracted. Uh, we need to extract our program here. I actually had this on my computer already, guys, and I will show you. Uh, first of all, I will go here. Now, in order for this program to work and to uh, convert your ISOs over, you, you have to create this folder right here, guys. WBFS folder. Uh, this is where all my games are stored at, right here. Uh, you can manually create this folder, or you can uh, boot that program up and let it create it for you like I do. That way I know it's right. That's what I do. So, uh, okay. And I will show you how the program works real, real quick like. If you have that folder installed with all your games, you simply come over here to your drive tab, click on it, go down to your drop window, whatever your local drive letter is, you click on that and it will load up all your games. You see this right here? And there's all my games within that specific folder. All right? Okay. So, but for the sake of this tutorial, guys, this folder here I will rename simply so that that program won't pick all them games up. It will only pick up that one certain game that I'm fitting to show you how to convert, okay? I'm just simply going to rename it to Wii. Okay? And now we're going to open up our program that we had downloaded. I have the Windows 64. So I'm going I'm to click on that. Oh. Okay. So here's that, here's that program, guys. Uh, what you want to do, go ahead and go to Drive 1. Go to your drop window, whatever your local drive is. Click on it. And then if you don't have that folder on your C drive or whatever drive your local drive is, it will ask you, uh, well, it will say this is a valid drive but there's no WBFS folder create it now you simply hit yes all right now get back out of this and I will show you ah I want to do that uh, let's just go to here and there it is guys WBFS as you can see, there's no games in there, but it did create an info file in there, uh, which what we're going to do now, just minimize this a little bit here, and we're going to take our game, our ISO file, we're just simply going to cut it and paste it right inside there, just like that right there, okay? All right. Now, we're going to go back into our, our program here. We're going to open it up. Go to drive one. Go to your drop window. Select drive C. And there's our game. That I just, I just put in that folder, which is Myth Maker's Cart. I've downloaded this game simply because it is a very small file. It's like 100-something megabytes. Uh, there are games upwards of like four gigs and all that good stuff but uh, 
like I said, I, I'm using this game to make it a little quick. So that, that's, that's the reason for that. You simply come over here, check the box over here, and then you go over here to transfer. We want to transfer it to a WBS, WBFS file. Then it will ask you where you want to actually convert it to. Well, I want to convert it to my hard drive, which is called Black Box. We're going to open it up, and we're going to scroll down to... Oh, this is another thing I forgot to tell you too, guys, that uh, you have to have a folder on your hard drive or your flash drive called WBFS, like this right here, okay? That's where all your games are going to go. Just, just like on your local C drive or whatever, you have a WBFS folder. You put your ISOs into that. But then, on your hard drive, you have a WBFS folder, which is going to be your converted games, which are in WBFS format. Okay? So you can hit OK. And then, as you can see up here, it is, it is uh, converting the game over. And that's, guys, that's simply it. I mean, there's nothing else to it. Uh, we'll head on over to the Wii. And I'll show you that it actually worked. All right? So follow me over there, guys. All right, guys. So this is my uh, Nintendo Wii, my red Wii that I have uh, in my so-called man cave. Uh, this is my custom theme that I have on it. It's, it's the Metroid uh, theme. As you can see, uh, I've got a number of uh, emulators on this. But... Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into our configurable uh, USB loader real quick. The game that we, just, we had just done. <clears throat> okay, so uh, this is my games, guys. Uh, this is my configure with USB loader. Now this this is pretty cool, guys, because this also sh uh, well not only does it show up the Wii games, but also my game. Any, anytime you see a a black, see at the top right here, it has black. That's that's my uh, Nintendo uh, GameCube games right there, like that one right there, this one, and uh, like this one. I mean, quite a few of them. And uh, they actually run off this also, also, so, I mean, it's pretty cool that everything shows up in this one uh, app. So, uh, let's go ahead and find our game. Okay, there it is right there. Most of the time, guys, when you first uh, put a game onto your hard drive, it's not going to have an image, uh, a game cover to it. So, uh, as you see, it is Myth Makers. We're going to go ahead and click on this. What you want to do, if you don't have no image, go to go to manage, and then go to uh, download missing covers, and just click on that, and just just wait a second, and uh, we'll see what it does. Okay, and now we go back, and there we go. Now it has the uh, the game art on the front. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go simply into it and we're going to start it. Just, just to show you that it works. Ooh, I like the alien. That's pretty cool. My goodness, how can... Wow. There we go. Mythmaker Supercard. I actually have this on the the PlayStation 2 also. It's pretty cool. It's not it's not too bad actually. We go ahead and start race. We we'll go just with the 50cc engine. Go with the experience. I'm pretty experienced in this, don't matter. Trixie. 
There's a couple more uh, myth makers. Uh, it's Trixie. What was it? Uh, Trixie and something. I forget the name of the of the game actually, but uh. Guys, I do not know how to select a character here. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, you go down here and hit check. Okay, gotcha. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll just wait a second. Uh, why am I going so slow? There we go. Okay. But it's pretty cool, guys. It, it's more or less, I mean, it'd be really cool for, uh, like, say, uh, children, like, 10 years old or whatever, you know. Maybe, maybe even five. I know my daughter, she, uh, she's three now. She just turned three uh, on the 26th of this month, and uh, she's already playing Mario Kart. So she, she's, uh, I think she's way ahead of her league right now. So, uh, yeah. But that's it, guys. Uh, that's my tutorial on how to get Wii games onto your hard drive and actually booting them up from your Nintendo Wii and playing them. Uh, there's also a way that you uh, can take your games that you already have. If you have your Wii already uh, hacked or whatever, you actually copy your, uh, your Nintendo Wii uh, CDs also. That's what I did with my uh, new Super Mario Brothers. So, uh, Yep, okay guys, uh, that's it. I'm gonna end this tutorial now. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something and uh, if you have any problems, just leave me a comment below and uh, I'd be happy to answer you. And uh, I'll see y'all guys next time as my next tutorial will be going over on how to uh, convert GameCube, Nintendo GameCube games onto your hard drive and actually getting them to boot up uh, using Dial Smiles. So, uh, stay tuned guys. Keep your eyes peeled for, the, for my next tutorial and uh, I'll see you guys later. Ouch! Oh, that hurt. Oh my goodness, I'm dead. Not dead, but uh, I think I've lost this one, guys. Anyway, oh my gosh, I'm drunk. I'm drunk, okay, okay. I need, I need to go to jail. Anyway, I'll see y'all guys later. Y'all take it easy. Keep on gaming, guys. Have fun with what you do. All right.